Hey guys, welcome to Saints TV. Bit of a late preview, sorry about that. Um, got home just then and saw the teams and, and thought I'd start a live and let's have a chat. I mean, it's, it's super exciting. It's Marsh game three against the Pies and it's, it's pretty much the best sort of preparation, I think, for us leading into round one is against a team that's, it's, you know, it's a formidable lineup. They're going full strength. It's good to see that we're going pretty close to full strength and, um, you know, you're not going to have a better warm up for round one, and unless you play, you know, a Collingwood, a really top four contending team, and that's what we're doing. And I can't wait to see how we perform. In terms of team lineups, it's basically round one of the Marsh series, except now we've got Hanabry, Zach Jones. There's a notable missing player. Um, Josh Battle seems to not have come up. Um, he's one player that, you know, I'm I'm still struggling to see where we fit him into the lineup, and obviously. I think that the coaches are having that sort of trouble as well. Um, but I see him as a bit of a, you know, a surprise player in that, you know, he's, he's pretty much good at everything. He's a workhorse, he's a good mark, he's a good kick, he can play back, he can play forward. Um, I think that he's definitely got a position in the Saints lineup, whether it's round one or round four if we need him or it's dependent on what the opposition is doing and how we're pl wanting to play. That might dictate how he's going, but at the moment... I'm um, I'm really happy with the team lineup. I'm super pumped to see um, Grundy v Marshall because that's obviously a big talking point for the season. Is what's going to happen there? You know, can Marshall go to the next level? Can he really match Grundy? Can he match Gorn in that aspect of his game and really take that ruck position to the next level? The other one that's interesting is the forward line, which is Max King, Tim Membry. Rowan Marshall's actually listed as a forward, so that's a very surprising thing to me. Um, Paddy Wright is the one getting first dibs in the ruck, um, but I think as the game goes on, we'll see Paddy Ryder move forward, and we'll obviously see um, Rowan Marshall move into the ruck. be great to see what you guys think. Let me know how you're feeling for the season ahead, um, and let's get some discussions going. For me... The key outtake for the game isn't so much the result. I mean, obviously, beating Collingwood anytime is a great result. But I think, you know, in the scheme of things, the season hasn't started yet. The number one thing is I don't want injuries. The number two thing is I just want to see the game plan that we saw in the first half of the Hawthorne game in the first Marsh game, which was take the game on, be offensive. And I think if you look at our forward line, you look at the fact that we're playing Max King, we're playing Tim Membroom, we're playing Rowan Marshall, three talls with the option of Paddy Ryder going down there as well. It's stretching Collingwood. They're notably a smaller back line. They're notably a on the deck trying to get it out with their hands sort of back line. So it's interesting that we're going tall because to me that says that we're going to try and exploit them. And if you look at the half forward line, you see Gresham, you see Butler, Loney, you see all these sort of players. It's a bit faster, it's a bit smaller. That means that when they try and get the ball out, we're going to be ready at the ground. And that's what Collingwood feed on. They feed on the, the ugly ball. They're very Richmond-esque in that way, where it's kind of on the deck and just forward momentum. Um, so I'm really excited to, to see how we combat that. The other big one is Dan Hanabry. Dan Hanabry hasn't played in a while, and he didn't play last week, even though we thought he would. This week, apparently, he's trained really well. He trained really well last week. Well, to be fair, his whole preseason's been decent, um, but this time around, um, you know, he's getting the full the full game, and I'm, f you know, fingers crossed that he he does a good job. Um, I'm a bit worried that, you know, you don't want to risk anyone, especially someone with um, a history of injuries like him, um, in a preseason game before round one. But if he can hit some form, adds another rotation to that midfield. We've got Dan Hanabry, Brad Hill, Zach Jones. We've got a bunch of players there that can rotate, and um, I'm really excited to see how they go. Let's go through the full lineup. I'll just read it out as we go. So in terms of starting back line, we've got Jaron Geary, Dougal Howard, Cal Wilkie, Hunter Clark, Dylan Robert, and great to see him again, Ben Long. The interesting thing there is no Jake Carlisle. No Jake Carlisle in that lineup at all. Um, interesting, maybe... Maybe they don't see you know him ahead of Dougal Howard and Dylan Robertson right now. Maybe he doesn't suit playing Collingwood. There's a number of different reasons why he might not be playing, but you couldn't possibly play all of Dick Kel Wilkie, Dougal Howard, Dylan Robertson in that back line. And then you've got Josh Battle, who's on the extended bench, which will be reduced tomorrow. But we 
we'll talk about that. Then you've got center line of Brad Hill on one wing, Gresham dead in the middle in the center, and Jack Billings. Half forward, you've got Jack Loney. Then you've got Jack Sinclair, Dan Butler. So as I said, the small half forward line. And then at full forwards, you've got Max King, Tim Membry, Rowan Marshall. And on the um, in the Ruck and Ruck Rovers, you've got Paddy Ryder, Jack Steele, Luke Dunstan. And on the extended bench, you've got Nick Caulfield, Zach Jones, Seb Ross, Hanabry, Kent, Patton, Marsh, Nick Hind, Ed Phillips, Josh Battle, Shane Savage, and Ryan Abbott. So, I mean, there's a lot of players there that will, that will um, be confirmed at 5 p.m. tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know then. But in the meantime, you know, it's going to be super exciting to see how the team performs. For me, I'm, I'm really excited to see how Rowan Marshall goes. If we play him predominantly forward, how much damage he can do, because we know he's capable as a forward, but if he goes more into the ruck, how he's going to go against someone like um, a Brody Grundy, who's you know a very good player. Um, I'm just reading here as well that key defender Jack Carl wasn't considered for selection after family commitments this week, uh, and that limited his ability to train. So, um, but Zach Jones will get his first test in a in an official game or you know close to official game. Last week he did really well, and I think he had 30 possessions um, in the charity game against the Hawks. But this time around, it's going to be a different story um, against Collingwood in a preseason game leading into round one. So he'll want to to put his hand up, and this will be, you know, the first official game. We've got all of our recruits, all of our new recruits in um, in the game. So I'm really excited to see how that goes. Um, I'm not too worried about if we win or lose, but you know, it is what it is. I think. You know, we couldn't have asked for a better warm-up, and yeah, it's just going to be good for chemistry. We need to get games into certain players, and Zach Jones is one of them. Brad Hill's another. Dougal Howard's another. Max King is the number one player you want to just keep getting games into. Um, so I'm, I'm super pumped for how that's going to go um, and for the game on Sunday. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Sorry to cut it short and for it to be a bit late. Um, I just had other commitments. But in that, you know, bringing that up, those commitments are very exciting, and... Um, you know, I can't really share much detail with you, but when it comes out in the next couple of weeks, hopefully you're going to love it and um, it's going to be completely new content that you haven't heard before and it's going to be a lot of new voices and fun discussions about our beautiful club and um, where we're going this year. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, but in the meantime, go Saints and I'll chat to you after the game on Sunday for my first live review of the season. Super excited. Catch you then.